Uh, 2 Timothy 2.13, if we believe not, yet he abideth faithful, he cannot deny himself. And he goes on to talk about Hymenaeus and well, it's Philip, I, I can't ever say his name, Philippeus or something. Uh, speaking of, they were denying the resurrection that's already happened or something going on with denying the actual gospel. But uh, God can't deny it. God knows those that are his. But when you're talking about that scripture, that passage, um, meaning God, Christ can't deny the promise he made that whosoever believeth on me hath everlasting life. He is not going to deny you of that. He will deny you of uh, being rewarded. I believe that's what that whole passage is talking about before it, you know, that he wants you to live holy. God's you know, stir up the gift. If you look back, it's talking about stirring up yourselves in Christ. And um, when you look at just that passage, which a lot of lordship uh, salvationists will use that, uh, the one before it, you know, if you we deny, if we deny him, he'll deny us. Meaning if we don't watch our words, you know, because it goes in through that is using vain words and uh, not knowing our scripture way we should. So that, that passage is actually just saying Jesus will not deny himself, meaning that if you're in the body of Christ, you have been clothed with righteousness. God is not going to deny you that. That's the foundation. That's, that's laid, that is forever settled as far as God's concerned. That part is... God's promise to every believer, any whosoever puts their faith in the Lord Jesus Christ as their Savior, He is not going to deny you everlasting life. That's really that passage. It's really it hits home, but a lot of people try to bastardize it and change it to mean something else. But reading context, you no, know, He's not talking about loss of salvation if you're not faithful. He's talking about. He'll remain faithful. He is the faithful one. We look to him for salvation, period. No one else. And uh, But he goes on to talk about living holy, you know, and talking about Hymenaeus. <clears throat> Another guy starts with a P. I can't hardly say it. Philippeus or something. But anyway, um, absolutely. Uh, God cannot deny himself. He's not a liar. He's no one that will lie to you. Um, his salvation is strong and holds sure. The foundation is sure. But uh, to reign with him, that's a whole other ballgame, man. You know, if we deny ourselves some of the things in this earth to serve Christ, you know, we'll be rewarded for it. And to study to show ourselves proved is within, I believe, in that same chapter, you know, we. God sees. God sees all things. He knows those are his. But that scripture is just talking about God's faithfulness to us. That he's not going to deny himself of the very thing he promised went to the cross for. And he's talking about the gospel through that whole thing. But anyway, God bless you. I hope that made sense. I, um, I haven't read that chapter in a while, but what a wonderful, that is a wonderful book, Second Timothy, for growth. And um, I love it. I'm going to, I think I'm going to go ahead and read that thing uh, through the week and uh, study it myself. God bless you. Y'all have a great uh, weekend. I'll see you soon. God bless. Amen.